Hi there. Now this is a follow-up example from the previous video in my series on partial fractions. What we've got to do here is just express 2x squared minus 3 all divided by x minus 2 times x plus 3 squared in partial fractions. So I'm assuming that you've looked through the previous video and basically know how to tackle this kind of problem. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, just give you a moment as usual to pause the video. When you come back, you might want to fast forward just to check out the final solution, or I'll take you slowly through the method involved. Okay? Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So to do this, let's just first of all copy down that fraction 2x squared then minus 3 divided by x minus 2 and then x plus 3 all squared. So for this type of fraction it contains a linear factor here so that gives rise to a fraction of the form a constant, call it a, over the linear factor x minus 2. Then the next factor is a repeated factor x plus 3 is squared here, so what we do is we start off with a constant, we'll call it b, and then write it over x plus 3, and then we introduce another constant, let's say c, and we put that over x plus 3 all squared. And then we multiply throughout by the denominator here, x minus 2 times x plus 3 all squared. So if you multiply the left hand side with this denominator, you're going to be left with 2x squared minus 3. And then this is going to be identical to a times x plus 3 all squared. Then you're going to have for this term b times x plus 3 times x minus 2. And for the last term here, it's going to be plus c times x minus 2. So we need to work out these constants a, b and c. And to do that, we choose a value of x that makes any of these brackets 0. So the first value of x I'm going to choose is x equals minus 3, which will make this bracket here 0. So We'll say then when x equals minus 3. On the left here, we're going to have minus 3 squared, which is 9. 9 times 2 is 18. Take away the 3 is just going to leave me with 15. So therefore, we've got 15 equals. So minus 3 makes this bracket 0, so that term is 0. Minus 3 in here will make this bracket 0, so that term is 0. Here, Minus 3 minus 2 is minus 5, so you're going to get minus 5c. And we're going to get a nice clean integer value here for c, I can see that. If we divide by minus 5, c equals 15 divided by minus 5, which is minus 3. Okay, so we've got c. Let's see what other value we can make x. Well, we can make this bracket here 0 by choosing x to be 2. So we'll go for that one. When x equals 2, over here we're going to have 2 squared, which is 4, times 2 is 8. 8 take away 3 is going to leave me with 5. So therefore we've got 5 equals. Putting 2 into here gives me 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 squared is 25, so we're going to have 25a. And then putting 2 into here, well that's 0. And 2 into here, that's going to be 0. So 5 equals 25a, so to get a, divide both sides by 25, and you get 5 25ths, which will reduce down to 1 fifth. Now, for the next value of x that we're going to need, well, we can't have any other value that makes any of these brackets 0. So we need to choose a particular value of x, or we could compare coefficients, say, of x squared. I'll show you both methods. Choosing a value of x, you can choose any value you like other than minus 3 and 2, but I'm going to go for 0. Okay, so when x equals 0, 
then we get minus 3 here on the left so minus 3 equals 0 in here gives us 3 squared which is 9 so we're going to get 9 times a 9 times 1 fifth is going to be 9 fifths okay so we've got 9 fifths there and then we're going to have over here x is 0 so it's just going to be 3 times minus 2 which is minus 6 so we're going to have minus 6b and 0 in here just gives me minus 2 times c c is minus 3 so minus 2 times minus 3 is plus 6 and what I could do here is just times through by 5 so we therefore get minus 3 times 5 which is minus 15 then we're left with 9 here and then 6b times 5 is minus the 30b and 5 times the 6 is plus 30 so if I add 30b to both sides we therefore get 30b and I'm going to add 15 to both sides so we get 30b equals 9 plus 30 plus a further 15 that's going to be 54 so if I divide both sides by 30, b will be equal to 54 divided by 30. And I can reduce this down. If I divide top and bottom by 6, I can see this comes to 9 over 5. 9 fifths then. Well, you can choose, as I say, any value of x that you like, okay, other than minus 3 and 2. Check it out with another value of x, you should get 9 fifths. But I say it's not the only way of doing this. A better way, I feel, is to look at comparing coefficients. And if you've watched the previous video in this series, you'll know that I would want to compare coefficients of x squared. So just write that in here, comparing coefficients of x squared you'll see it's a lot easier. We've got 2 here as the coefficient of x squared on the left here. So we've got, therefore, 2 equals. We're going to get an x squared term here when we expand the bracket. And so it'll be a times the x squared, which will just give us a. We know that a, though, is 1 fifth. So we've got 1 fifth there. When we expand these two brackets, we're going to have x times x, which is x squared. There'll be other terms as well, but not x squared terms. Multiply it with a b, so we just end up with b as being the coefficient of x squared. So that'll be plus b. As for this term here, there won't be any x squared term, just cx minus 2c. So we've got no coefficient of x squared. So you can see that to get b, all I've got to do is b is going to be 2 minus 1 fifth. 2 minus 1 fifth comes out at 9 fifths. A lot easier than working out, I feel, by this method. So, in summary then, what we've got is therefore 2x squared minus 3 all divided by x minus 2 times x plus 3 all squared well that's going to be identical then to a over x minus 2 a is a positive value so we can just write that in first of all 1 over 5 times x minus 2 and then we've got b over x plus 3 b we've just seen is 9 fifths so that's plus 9 over 5 times x plus 3 and then lastly we've got c over x plus 3 all squared c is negative 3 so minus 3 then all over x plus 3 all squared so i hope you're able to get that right if not that you've been at least able to see how to do it or where you've gone wrong